Good morning, everybody. Today is a really exciting day because we are officially on our way to our last foster parent class out of four. We spent four Saturdays learning how to be parents and all the rules about being a foster parent. It's finally our last one. <laughs> four whole Saturdays learning how to be parents. We have a test at the end of it. I think we're going to pass. I think it's open books. So that's the type of test I pass. <laughs> and after our class, we're going to do some shopping for stuff for the kids. So we're going to take you guys along. And is that all we have planned? I think so. Just like that, we are done with our foster care training. Finally. So they still have to submit our home study and we have one last home visit on Wednesday. But after they do all that, our workers said it should only be about two weeks before we're approved to have a placement. So today's mission is to get all the baby stuff that we need. And we don't really know what we need, so this will be really interesting. <laughs> well, wait, we took four whole classes on how to be parents, so we should know everything. Oh yeah, we're experts now. We need a playpen, a bed, sheets, a muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> we need a baby gate, they said, to lock off our kitchen. We need a pack and play. Oh, that's what you meant by playpen, right? Right. And um, we're just going to walk around the baby sections and see what else looks fun to have. NyQuil. We need NyQuil. No, we're not going to get any NyQuil. Oh, I thought that was a thing. I don't think so. Uh, Our approval's not for sure yet, so maybe don't say I'm that. trying to mess this up in the home stretch. <laughs> we're a little bit nervous now. Yeah, a little bit. We don't... I, th I think it's just uh, it's scary from a time standpoint. Like, I, I really want to do it. I know you really want to do it. We want to help. But we just don't know how much time this will take because we've never done it. Yeah, well, I'm kind of scared that we don't know what to do for certain ages. Figure I'd just Google it. Yeah, you could just Google it, I guess. That's true. Google everything. We're not going to buy a lot of clothes or anything like that right now because we don't know what age child we'll get. So if we get a placement, we're just going to go to the store right away when we get them and buy a bunch of clothes. And then they'll be able to keep all those clothes and everything with them when they leave us. So we're also approved to adopt from doing this. But we're not planning on adopting, we're planning on being fosters. Just so you know, our certificate does say approved to adopt, but that just comes along with the foster. Our worker just wanted us to get approved for both, so. We haven't ruled it out, but very, yeah. very low likelihood of, of adopting at this stage in our life. Okay, so we're going to go in Aldi because we heard they had a gate in here for a good deal. We'll let you guys know what we find. See you later. Aldi was a success. We got our gate that we needed and this cute little stuffed animal. Look how cute it is. We're going to head to Marshalls and Target to look for a playpen and a few other things. And we need to run a few errands for the gym. Other than that, we're excited to eat Chipotle. I'm hungry. Always excited for food. And I'll let you guys know what we find. How cute are these little fox sheets? Adorable. <laughs> That's where we have one kid, two kids, a whole wheelbarrow full of kids. What are you doing? I'm trying to decide how old this kid is so I know how, what ages can fit into this thing. I'm gonna guess 97 months. <laughs> I think this will be good. Baby's gonna go to the gym. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Press it. Nice. Squat clean. Did anybody ever notice that TJ Maxx and Marshalls has like the best snacks? I got these white chocolate oatmeal cookies and then some protein puffs got a few bags of those because they were really good and have really good macros. I could spend like $50 on snacks and TJ Maxx, couldn't I? Which one's open? That I'll, one. I'll have these, thank you. We're pre-gaming for Chipotle. Here. We got all the baby stuff we set out for. I'm saying baby, but really it's zero to three because of the size of our apartment. It's pretty small. We can only take zero to three years old and nothing older than that because they have a space requirement, so. It was kind of hard to shop and having no idea, like, what fits what size kid, but I think we figured it out. Yeah, so our first baby shopping experience went pretty well. Why well, is there 27 different types of strollers? 
Yeah, it was confusing. Oh, we didn't get a stroller because we figured we would get that when we get the age of the kid. And because they cost as much as a car. So <laughs> that was that too. But it was fun and now we're hungry. So we're going to get some Chipotle. Then we'll go home. We'll show you guys everything we got. <laughs> Beamer, that is not for you. You're not the baby. You're not the baby. Oh, yes you are. We'll get you an elephant. Before we go over the baby stuff, I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on Stormy. I hope you can see her, it's kind of dark in here. How am I gonna hold a third baby? It's gonna go right in the middle, right <laughs> there. She blends in with the couch. So Stormy loves belly rubs, she just got her leg re x rayed a few days ago and her break is healing really well so she doesn't need any surgery no interventions and she should be back to normal in three weeks and then she'll be off her activity restriction as soon as she gets her repeat x-ray so if anybody wants to adopt her she's almost available send me a message Don't on take instagram her. i know we might keep her she be a foster fail yeah there's perfect amount of space for one more baby i just need the front satchel whoa sorry sorry <laughs> You do need a satchel, definitely. How was your first baby shopping experience? It wasn't as bad as I thought, but we didn't have to buy clothes or anything else like that. We bought a crib and a mattress from a friend of ours that they really never used, and he was bringing it over tonight, and the mattress flew off the back of his truck. So we still have to get a mattress. Okay, I have two little brats here that are trying to enter being here because they want their toys that they think are in these boxes, but these toys are not for them. <laughs> oh, hi. They need all the attention, so. Okay, okay. Good girl, all right. Okay, so this is everything we got today. Actually, we got this car seat the other day. It's one of those car seats that can work from ages newborn with an insert up to like 40 pounds, which I don't know exactly which age that is, but I think it's like three or four. Our friends Jade and Caleb gave us this because they had a baby and got a lot of stuff and this was one of the extra car seats they got. So we were really lucky to get that. This is going well so far as you can tell. We got this pack and play from Target so that we can take the baby or the toddler to the gym with us into the office and stuff like that and it has somewhere safe to play while we're watching it. We got this little elephant from Aldi because it was just so cute. We got this gate because according to the social worker, we have to have a gate in our house to protect the baby from the kitchen and stuff like that. So we had to get this anyway, even though I don't think it'll be an issue because we'll always be watching it. Our apartment's kind of small. We got this from Aldi and then we got Paul's this crib. Elf ear. Oh. Oh man. Where? You got it now. Whew. John doesn't like my elf ear, so he can't keep filming if I have can't it. Do it. Does that bother anybody else? I've asked this on another video. But I didn't know it was an issue until I met him, which was 10 years ago, so I didn't really know anything before then. But anyway, this is the crib we were telling you about that we also got from a friend today with no mattress, unfortunately. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like now because he just found it. But this crib is pretty nice. It's a four-in-one as well, so it turns into a toddler bed. I feel like it's super weird that I'm making like a mom vlog right now because I really don't know what I'm talking about. And I know that you guys probably know more about what I need than I even do. So if you see anything that we're definitely missing, let us know. I know we're missing a stroller. And age specific and gender specific stuff we didn't get because we don't really know that right now. But anyway. Oh, oh we forgot to get a leash. <laughs> Though you could get a leash. <laughs> oh, it's a little perfect. backpack and you'll pull it along. Perfect. I don't think we can use a dog leash, but... All right, so I know this isn't like an anesthesia or nursing specific vlog, but really my channel is about my life. Nursing and anesthesia is part of my life, but it's not the only part of my life because I believe in balance and I have a lot of other passions as well. So I like to show everything on my channel that I'm involved with. I did start out with a nursing video, so I know some of you guys follow me for that. So if you don't care about this, skip this video, but I just want to show everything that I do. So sorry if you're not interested in this at all but hopefully you are. I'm gonna go study now because I haven't studied yet today because we've been busy running around all day. So I'm probably gonna study for three or four hours. Tomorrow's Sunday, I'm off all day until we have our gym meeting and cleaning day at 4 p.m. 
So tomorrow I'm gonna be studying probably for about eight hours straight. And other than that, it's just gonna be a normal week, clinic, the OR, we don't have any tests this week. So I'll just be busy working clinic and I do have one ICU shift. So just wanted to close that out explaining what's going on right now and we're really excited to become foster parents. We're a little nervous too, but I think that's normal. So basically excited, hopefully we'll be completely done with the paperwork, going through the system and everything by the end of March and have a placement. So we're ready. I'll keep you guys updated for sure on future vlogs. If you're interested in adopting Stormy, make sure to message me on Instagram. She's an amazing dog that deserves the best home possible. So if you guys like this video and you like Stormy, give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments below with advice for us in our first foster care placement or first child that we'll be taking care of. And if you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe and follow along with me. And John's in my videos a lot too, so I'll link his YouTube below as well because he does have a YouTube. Um, it's going south. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for this vlog. I'm off to study now. I hope you guys have a great week, and as always, I'll see you next week.